And now, Boom Connection. We're going live to the United States of America to have a discussion with one of those subscriber men flying our flag in a very prestigious way. You know, earlier on the program, we we're talking with another of our daughters who is in Canada and the mighty things um, they do to support our people back home. Here is uh, balancing the equation. Here is a man who has continued to fly a flag, who is doing so well in the United States, but continues to remember home. Professor Kevin Ita is a uh, professor of pharmaceutics. I'm wondering what that means in my head, but I'll get to him and he will explain. He joins me live on Skype from San Francisco Bay Area in California, United States of America. So nice to see you, Prof. Nice to see you too, Michael. Fantastic. So, Prof, I want to begin this program by thanking you on behalf of the Bush clan and on behalf of NECA, on behalf of all of us, even on behalf of Winnie. You were so fantastic when Winnie was in California. Thank you for, for helping her. You're welcome. Good. So, what does pharmaceutics mean? What does pharmaceutics mean? Pharmaceutics, pharmaceutics is a scientific discipline, one of the disciplines that uh, students of pharmacy study. So, it's a pharmaceutical science that deals with dosage forms and drug delivery systems. So, dosage forms will be the way that medications or drugs are administered to patients. So, we have tablets, capsules, transdermal patches, creams, injections, those are all called dosage forms. So a pharmaceutical scientist that studies those dosage forms and is an expert in, in those dosage forms uh, studies pharmaceutics. How That's long, what it is. Yes, yeah, sure. How long, Prof, have you been in the United States? I've been in the United States for 18 years. Wow. And um, between then and now, how frequently do you get to come home? Unfortunately, zero. <laughs> oh. but, I keep, but I keep in touch with home. I'm always in contact with home, so I know what's going on there. Why, have it, why haven't you come? Um, a number of issues, but um, nothing, nothing really serious. Yeah. Okay, but I've you, just been in touch. But you look forward to coming. Yes, at some point. Yes. Okay, great. Okay, so let, let's turn our attention. Um, there's something new you were doing. We didn't see that in 2015 elections. We didn't see that even in 2019. Suddenly, uh, for the 2023 governorship elections, uh, people like you are already dreaming big for our Kwaibum. You are saying we want to have a virtual governorship debate. Why do we need a debate going forward? So, given the amount of digital resources that we have in the world now, um, it is time that we are able to leverage those resources and use it for the economic development of our people. So I thought that um, aspirants that want to take up, up the position at the Hilltop Mansion have a civic duty to tell us exactly what they intend to do for the citizens of Aquaibum State and how they intend to do that. So it, it just crossed my mind that we could actually have a virtual debate using Zoom and then we'll bring the aspirants on before the primaries and after the primaries. So at least we're going to have two sessions. Uh, one will be before the primaries where we'll talk, about, we'll talk with some of the aspirants and then after the primaries we'll talk with those that have emerged as flag bearers for the different parties. Okay, Prof, I'd like to thank you. We commend you on behalf of the people of Akwaibom. I think that's so creative. It's also an opportunity for our people to hear directly from people who want to lead them. But um, the first one um, happens on the 19th of April, right? That's correct. How that's go- Tuesday, 19th of April. Okay, so how do you go about it? How are you planning to go about it? How are the people of Akwaibom, the, the, the voters, the electorate, how are they going to avail themselves of what you're doing? So uh, I am using the Zoom platform that allows uh, the candidates to come on, but I also have a large meeting mode, which means that that Zoom will be able to accommodate 1,000 participants. 
and so that way Akwaiwumites from all over the world and I've had interest from different countries people have called me from the United Kingdom from Turkey uh, of course from the US here different places that they want to join and so they will have a zoom link and when they key in I will have eight aspirants from three political parties and uh, I will be the moderator so I'll ask them questions just like you're asking me now mm. and they will give us answers as to what they intend to do for a Kwebom state. Fantastic. Um, I, I really love the thought of that. Um, for how long is that going to run? It's going to run between two and three hours. Wow. So because we have eight, eight, eight candidates, we we'll have about ten questions for them. Um, and so it will run for about between two and three hours. Okay, two questions um, quickly, even though it's unprofessional in the media world, especially on radio, to ask two questions, but I'm going to ask that because I'm the boss. Um, two questions, Prof. Number one is, um, so you get these people together. How are the people at home? How can they, how can they take advantage? Are you, you know, this thing about Zoom, um, I don't know how we're going to put that. Are we able to put out that link so that the people in Uyo, in Akwaibom, can also um, join in live? Yes, the, the, the link is going to be on a flyer, which of course I'm going to send to you. Okay, so we can put um, that out. So, so people, yes, people can join from home. Okay, so but you can't take people more than... You can send them yes, you can take, you can join, you can take more than 1,000, right? No, we can't take more than 1,000, but the recording of the debate will be on YouTube. So we, you can also send us the recorded version so that we can also help put it out for you on our platforms as well. So they can reach yes, many more I will people. certainly do that. Okay, so yes, let's, that. let's talk about some of the questions you intend to ask some of these men, even before we get to know who and who will be taking part. But what, what kind of questions are you looking at? Uh, mostly economic questions. Mostly how the how they intend to grow the state economically so that they can provide um, jobs and means of sustenance for the teeming population of a quiet room state. I, I cannot thank you enough, um, Professor Kevin Ita, Professor of Pharmaceutics. Um, you are right there in um, San Francisco, Bay Area in California, United States of America, and then you are able to make sure you contribute your own to the making of you know a better album. I cannot thank you enough. This is so creative. This is so so beautiful. But you know, politicians, prof, they are just going to come there. They bring flowery language. They are going to tell you all sorts of things. Or oh, they will build bridges where there is no water. They will do this. How are you going to make sure you extract from them not only the how, but also not also not only the what and the why they would the what they would do, but also the hows. So, uh, as you can imagine, um, in the 21st century, you, you really have the opportunity to have whatever you say on record, like what we're having now is on Skype, so it's on record. And so the politicians themselves, when they tell us this is how we're going to handle it, it's going to be on record, on Zoom, on YouTube, or possibly on Facebook, and on different platforms. So you can always say, this is what you said in... 2022. This is what he said on Tuesday, April 19, 2022, at 5:30 p.m. So, what what is the reality on the ground? Because we're going to start at 5 p.m. and it will probably go on to about 8 p.m. in Nigerian time. And so, every statement you make is not just an empty syllable. It's not you are not just blowing the air. But make sure that what you say is what is feasible. Is what you can reasonably achieve. Are you, Professor Ita, are you expecting any form of help from the local populace here, back from Aquaibom? You expect people to do anything to support what you're doing? You are just doing one of those things. You are supporting me. I remember that I spoke with you and I asked you, is it possible for us to bring this information on your program? And you said yes. So this is uh, civic education. Uh, this is educating the masses that to, to vote for a particular candidate is not just about the amount of money that the candidate gives to you, but really about the thought processes, about the mindset of this candidate, about competence, about track record. So these are the, the tangibles 
these are the things the values that you are going to take into consideration as you go out there to cast your vote either as a delegate during the primaries or during the actual election Okay, let's also quickly discuss uh, the other matter you just mentioned now in greater details, and that's about money. Uh, you know, there's nothing you're going to be doing that doesn't need funding. I'm wondering, how are you funding this? Because even yesterday when I said, oh, we could do this for you on radio, we could do this for you on TV, we could support like this, you said, how much does that come to? And um, I wonder, why did you ask me that question? And wh where are you funding this from? Well, this is totally from my pocket right now. Um, the Zoom account is owned by me. I had to enlarge the audience because traditionally, the Zoom license that I have covers 100 people only. But so many Aquabo mites have said, oh, please, can you expand that so that more people can join in? So from my pocket, I had to fund that. But, you know, most of the electronic resources or the online resources that we have nowadays they are not that expensive. These are, these are things that you can easily do. And I remember that I spoke with one of your workers, Noel, and I asked him whether this program is online. He said, yes, it's online. But then he went back to see that uh, Aquaibom radio is off, I think, right yeah, now. Sure, it's, sure. It's offline. But it, it's not just limited to this radio so, station. So, so you're going to have it everywhere else, yeah. Yes, so those are things that can actually be funded uh, without much problem at the moment yes okay so um, i mean youtube resources youtube resources are also not that expensive twitter is not expensive skype is not expensive zoom is not expensive so those are things that can be used that's why it's a virtual debate mm, sure professor kevin Ita, talk to me now about the you said you have eight aspirants so far that will be taking part um now on the 19th of um, april the 19th of this month when you hold this virtual governorship debate it's going to be the first time we would have seen this in our quiet boom so who are these aspirants so the first will be architect ezekiel i talk of the african democratic congress the second is uh, uh, senator itainan of um, apc and then we have senator bombasi alberakban of pdp we have Mr. Kanokon of PDP. We have Honorable Onofio Luke of PDP. We have Obong Ide, uh, Idemeko um, of PDP. We have Imperfect Sam Snapman of PDP. We have um, um, Mr. James Inyama of PDP. Wow, that's eight of them. So you didn't mention yes. you didn't mention Pastor Moino. Where is he in the in the mixer? In the picture? So I contact. I contacted Pastor Moeno and uh, he promised that he was going to take part when the flag bearer of the different parties emerge. That's why I told you earlier on that we're going to have a second session when the flag bearer of, the, of all the parties that are contesting in Aquaibum State will take part in that one. If we are going to have a session, um, Professor Kevin Ita, when the Standard barriers, all the uh, standard barriers of all the political parties emerge. What, what then is the the need for this one now? So, you know, several people have told me that they would like to to have an idea of what all the candidates think, how they think, how they solve problems, and there are many problems: problems of uh, economics, problems of security, problems of infrastructure. There are many problems or challenges and they want to see how these candidates reason it's true that some of them may not make it of course not all of them are going to make it some may choose to migrate to other political parties if they don't get the nomination of their parties and we have about uh, about 18 political parties according to INEC and so people want to have an idea of the mindset of and the thought processes of these candidates and then from there they can make their decisions. Professor Kevin Ita of Aquaibom State speaking to me Michael Bush in Rio Nigeria live from San Francisco Bay Area in California United States of America is coming up with a virtual governorship debate for Aquaibom on the 19th of April and we'd just like to say thank you for putting a Bible map out there and we're going to continue talking prof we will we, we'll keep talking 
We'll keep doing more. Even this is going on TV. We'll try and see on our radio program on Thursday if we're able to get you online again. So we'll do this again just with a view to mobilizing our people to take advantage of what you're doing. Many, many thanks for your great work. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Awesome.